here is a review I didn't expect I'd ever do. That rhymed, I'm keeping it in. Basically, it's a cap. I'm reviewing clothing now. Now, anyone that knows me knows that I don't much care for expensive or branded clothing. The only time I'll spend a bit of money on there is if it's um, a band. Certain brands, really, are kind of kind of lying there. Something like Converse. I do love my Converse trainers. Um, generally, that's it. <coughs> Excuse me. But being on holiday, I forgot my cap um, and not having any hair, not a good choice. So it's um, quite a sunny week really. I think today's only been the day where it's been a bit muggy. Not muggy, but like, what, dull? <laughs> Cloudy? But I still needed a hat. Where I am, it's a centre park, so it's like a massive kind of like, um, I don't know how you'd, how you'd describe centre parks. There's lots of activities to do. To do. You get to stay in a lodge or a tree house, not like Simpsons tree house. That'd, that'd be awesome though, actually. But you, you stay in a very nice accommodation. There's loads of activities to, activities to do. I cannot get my goddamn words out. You can do archery, uh, laser clay pigeon, laser pigeon. You get my point? But there's, there's loads of different things to do for adults and for kids. There's a supermarket, there's a swimming pool, a toy shop. However, I could not find a good shop to get a hat. Now, there's nothing in the supermarket. Uh, where, where my lodge is, there's also a, a bike centre where you can collect your bicycles if you want to ride around, because the, the place is huge. However, they, they do sell hats, but I didn't get one because I forgot. Well, I didn't realise at the point, at that time, that I hadn't got my hat. I didn't really want to go back because I was at one end of the uh, centre parks and the bike places at the other end. I went to oh, another shop and ended up buying my blue hat. Don't know how well it's going to come up on the uh, light in here. Now this is Jules, you can see there. Now I was very, very reluctant to buy this. They did have, is it a fedora? I wanted to buy that, but I've got a very large head. Couldn't wear it. <laughs> so I brought the blue baseball kind of cap. Now, now, this cost me 15 pounds. I was very reluctant to buy it, but I really needed something to protect my head. And I'm not walking around with sun cream on my head because that looks weird. But um, I brought this purely because I needed something to protect my head. Now, I did a bit of background research very briefly just before making this about what Jules is. They started in 89. They're a British manufacturer. But what I did find out is in 2020, they kind of went into a recession. Um, Obviously, very similar to what's happening all around. Just realised my camera's slightly lopsided. But they're, they're just losing a lot of sales, really. Um, they want the government to do a bit more for UK retailers, um, just to help them out, really, because they're losing so much money. Obviously, with Amazon and all these other big-time shops, really, they're just kind of well, losing their market. But I guess it kind of fits in with what I want to do. My, my other battle of trying to look after the, the smaller businesses. So buying this kind of makes me feel happy, but at the same time it makes me feel sad because it's £15 for a hat. But at the same time, it's actually a good hat. It's It fits snug. I will wear it, don't you worry. Um, what I do like is it's got, the, it's got the buckle rather than an actual snapback, which suits me fine because I can have it just the way I want it because I've got a big head. Um, the material is super thick, it, it's a very, it's almost like a, not denim, but it feels like denim. I'll tell you what it is actually. Oh, the item name is Stanley. Oh, hang on. It's cotton, so yeah, it's it's super, the, the material itself, it's good cotton, you know. For instance, when you do the pull test, I don't know if you can see that. You know, with the stitching is not fading, and the thing I do like, they've got the cross section on on the cap. I've had caps before where they don't put that over the stitching, so you've got the top part there, then you've got the cross section to look after it. A lot of cheaper hats don't have that. Um, the buckle itself, that's a, a better kind of, for me it's better than a snapback because if you've got something that like a press stud, it's going to wear away, where this one it won't wear away. And it's even got the little tuck in there. A lot of hats, most hats I've had that have the buckle, Never have the little kind of slot to put the thing in, but I've never had to use it because I've got a fat head. The beak, the peak of it, I'm not a fan of how bent that is, or how curved it is even, but it does a, a sweet job, but now it's time to test it. So it fits my fat head properly. 
You know what I mean? It looks pretty cool. But, you know, it, it, it's perfect. And even though it's quite thick, it's quite aerated as well, which I like. A very breathable material. And the thing I like about this particular colour is it's going to wear and phase so nicely. But yeah, I'm still a bit iffy that I've paid 15 quid for a, a baseball cap. But at the same time, it's a really nice cap. I mean, even in the part where your forehead goes, where all the sweat collects, you've, they've lined it as well. Pick it up, man. Come on, there we go. See? Just there. That's pretty cool. That They've really thought about it. And the thing I do like about Jules, the brand, is they're... Obviously, they're a clothes brand. They do have baby wear and home wear. But they are more into the more vibrant, more non-standard kind of thing so you get a lot of awesome patterns a lot of colors like to buy a cap like this you know you're quite lucky for the color anyway but it, I mean it was a really nice shop the staff were friendly as anything but then they would have to be to get the sales ha but yeah a review I never thought I'd do clothing hmm if there's any other piece of clothing you think ha review that let me know until then or until next time <laughs> getting better at ending these I'll see you soon bye